Sound and music are absolutely central when creating atmosphere and immersion in tabletop role-playing games, especially in a horror setting where, as you know, in movies, <laughs> sound can cue ugh, feelings of discomfort. Those sorts of feelings like complicated romantic entanglements that are inevitable in 19th century Regency England. I am so excited to play Call of Cthulhu Regency uh, because of just the remarkable world that we can create at our table. And yeah, the kind of the, the heightened addition of the such strict social setting uh, with things slowly going wrong. Everything starts off normal in each of these fantastic adventures. Here we have a delightful ballroom setting. A romantic moment in North Lake Gardens. Music has been specifically composed for these sound sets, for each of these two situations. If you listen to this slightly awkward, delightful gentlemanly or ladylike piano playing. Which also has kind of a slightly off kilter flavor to it. As if something might actually be wrong. Then watch what happens when I hit this to the mood that's surrounding us. So since we don't have visuals in our tabletop role-playing games like we do in a movie, uh, music and sound can really really help to fill that void to cue the players how they're supposed to be feeling in the situation and to give the keeper real control of how the mood is contoured. Fantastic stuff. Awesome. Right, I'll leave you with a horror's fight. Grab this today. Don't play Call of Cthulhu Regency without it. And if you know anyone that is, tell them what for.